What's up, sons? It's Blindrun with Sound Tech once again. Today we're going to take a look at the MSI Aero ITX GTX 1063 GB with Hynix memory and its mining performance, so stick around. Welcome back. So this card features a basic single fan cooling design. However, the heatsink is much better than the EVGA one we checked out earlier. Moving around the card, we can see that it requires a single six pin power connector, which will pull anywhere between 80 and 120 watts, depending on the algorithm you're mining. And one of the benefits to this is if you're using a server power supply unit, you won't have to get any splitters for an eight pin adapter. The other features of this card is no back plate, dun dun dun, and a shroud that covers the heatsink, of course. Now we're going to take a listen to the fans. Be sure to turn your volume up and follow the screen prompts to turn it down after it's run. So the noise isn't that bad, even going all the way up to 100% isn't awful and you'll never have to go there because as we take a look at the mining performance, you'll see that it stays nice and quiet and cool. So taking a look at the mining performance itself, starting with Lira 2 Rev 2, we have Vertcoin at 23.4 mega hash a second using 202 watts and maxing out at 66 degrees Celsius, nice and cool there. The surprising thing here is it also beats out the Samsung memory card on the EVGA in this particular coin, so or in this particular algorithm, so that's really cool. Next we have XMR, which is Crypto Knight, coming in at 430 hash a second at 150 watts with 59 degrees Celsius. This is actually pretty impressive if you consider the 150 watts, that's total system power, and you're talking about using about 50 watts with this algorithm on a single GTX 1063 gigabyte. So that's really awesome. Moving on to Equihash, we see 285 solutions a second using 210 watts of system power at 68 degrees Celsius. This actually beats out, once again, the Samsung memory version on the GTX 1063 gigabyte from EVGA. But this doesn't quite hold true as we pop into ET hash for Ethereum, where we see this card only pulling 15.5 mega hash a second at 175 watts, staying around 62 degrees Celsius. The thing to note here, interestingly enough, is that it does use less power than its Samsung counterpart, but it does get about five mega hash a second less. With a little bit of tweaking, you can only overclock the memory to about 500 megahertz on this particular card, and that will only net you about five mega hash a second, which gets you even with the Samsung memory, but on the Samsung memory, you can get up to 750 megahertz on the ones I've tested, and that'll get you closer to like 23, 24 mega hash a second on ET hash. But wrapping things up, really, you don't really have to fear buying a GTX 1060 and getting Hynix memory. If you do end up with a Hynix memory, there are other algorithms you can mine that it's very efficient at, including pretty much everything but ET hash itself. So definitely take a look at to, into that if you've purchased one of these GTX 1060s and didn't win the Samsung Silicon Lottery. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to come hang out, check out the Discord link in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well, and check out coins.sonofatech.com. Until next time, I'll see you next Tuesday.